Thank use notice. This video may contain copyright materials, the use of which has not been specifically authorized by the copyright owner. We are making such material available for the purposes of criticism, comment, review, and news reporting, which constitutes the fair use of any such copyright materials, as provided for in Section 107 of the U.S. Copyright Law and Sections 29 and 30 of the U.K. Copyright Design and Patent Act 1988. The fair use of a copyrighted work for purposes such as criticism, comment, review, and news reporting is not an infringement of copyright. I found this tonight, or should I say, I found it after someone sent it to me, and strangely familiar. Man wrongfully arrested, given £100,000 compensation by police. Now, this is South Scotland, right? This guy, Gate House of Fleet. Not far from where I am, Dumfries and Galloway Police. He was wrongfully, wrongfully arrested and sent to prison on remand, and he's been awarded £100,000 in compensation for Police Scotland. Now, you won't be getting all that. Because he'll have given 20-25% to the solicitor, no win, no fee. But I want you to listen to this. They had his fingerprints and knew he was the wrong man. His life has been trashed after this, completely trashed. He has no criminal conviction, or convictions, was arrested at his home by detectives who had a warrant for a different person. A different person. I can fully agree, I thought I was going insane. The officers held a photo of the suspect next to Mr. Webb's face and they decided they were the same person. How ridiculously insane is that? Mr. Webb then showed his passport, driving license and photos around his home as proof of mistaken identity. However, he was still handcuffed. Handcuffed, not handcuffed, handcuffed. He was three nights in a cell at Aidwell Prison. He was released without any explanation or apology. There we go. Typical Police Scotland. <sighs> he made a formal complaint for wrongful arrest, but after two years this was rejected by an internal police investigation and recorded as a quality of service issue. Quality of service issue. I have never heard anything so ludicrous in my life. Quality of service issue. It was wrongful arrest. It was violence. It was imprisonment. It was kidnap. It was mental torture. His privacy was totally trashed. That is not a quality of service issue. Quality of, serv serv of service issue is just bullshit. It's a bullshit Four word meaning we are absolutely at fault and we should never have done this and we will not apologise. Following a two year investigation, the Crown Office said none of the five officers would face prosecution. None of them would, none of them would face prosecution. Now, let's look at this. Five people who go to a policeman's house get hold of him, accuse him of a file, have a picture of the person who committed the, 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 the crime, put it next to the policeman's face and still take him to a place where they imprison him in a garage for three days without any contact to anybody. Then the door's opened and he's released, let to go about his business. Do you think that would happen to a policeman? No. Unreserved apology? No, not at all. My advice is read this, because this is the state of the police that we have in Scotland. This is the egotistical, pathetic reasoning that police Scotland come up with kidnapping a man, putting him in handcuffs, putting him in jail for three days, the cells for a night, and not even apologise? Who are you fucking kidding me? This is a gang up here. This is just a gang. They are a gang. They are blue line thugs for any police force to actually say, we arrest this man, we take him to the cells, we refuse any evidence he's offering us in real lifetime, and then take him and put him in prison for three days, and then release him without any apology, without any anything. And the sheep will say, well, you know, he must have done something. No, he didn't do something. Until you are found guilty, you are innocent. 
you are innocent until you are found guilty. That is where the law works. But in police Scotland, in Dumfries and Galloway, you're guilty. End of story. You are guilty. To say this makes my blood boil, yes it does. Makes my blood really boil. I know what these people are up to. Why do I know this? Because they've done it to me. Done it to me. Our officers and staff work with commitment and professionalism day in, day out to provide a high quality policing service for the public. That's public uh, public relations bullshit. It's public relations cow shit. That's public relations vomit. When learning opportunities are identified, Police Scotland is committed to supporting officers and staff who have acted in good faith. No, they aren't committed to support, no, supporting the public, but they'll support the staff who have acted in bad faith towards this man. However, we will not com comment on internal misconduct matters. That's why you don't have the police <laughs> reviewing. Let me come into your office. Let me come into your place where you've got a bunch of people looking at things like this. Let me come in. Let a normal member of the public come in. Because I'll be absolutely straight and true. I would turn around and say, this is what I think. This is my view. This is my opinion from what I have just read and all of the evidence that is available that the arresting officers should be arrested. They should be charged with kidnap, unlawful arrest, violence. Yeah, I mean, the list goes on. It goes on. That's what happened. That's what should happen. But what happens? When learning opportunities are identified, Police Scotland, ooh, little old butterflies flying around my head, is committed to supporting officers and staff who have acted in good faith. How can these people who are on the salaries that they are on go and arrest somebody at the wrong place with the wrong face, with the wrong passport, with the wrong identification kit that they have about this case. See the man stood before them and then arrest him. That's not, that's, that's not, that is not poor working ideology. That is just crap. Unreserved apology, my ass. The PIRC, uh, PIRC did a fantastic job and left no stone unturned during its, its investigation. So without them and my own legal team, I wouldn't be where I am now. Poor bloke. I feel really sorry for him. I really do feel for him. But Police Scotland and its behaviour has been utterly despicable. They clearly know of wrongdoing or they wouldn't have paid damages. You see, the one thing I want to say here, for all you people that read this and listen to my views, I want you to understand something if you don't already understand it. The damages do not come from the police. It comes from the public purse. It comes from the taxes that we pay. That man deserves a penny. For me, I'd have given him a million pound. I would have given him a million pound. In fact, I would give him a million pound for every night he spent in jail. That's what I would do. Because I'll tell you what, every single police officer that was involved in that would be given each £500 punitive damages that they have to pay out of their own wages for the rest of their lives. And they wouldn't be able to leave the force because then they would have to still pay anyway. That's what I would do. Each one of them, £500,000 punitive damages. The whole police force of Scotland, £5 million, £3 million for the each night served in jail, and then the police sells £5 million punitive damages. 100000 is no angry enough. Punitive damages have to be paid. So for you sheeple out there who see this, just by the off chance on YouTube it pops up, you are paying for this man's compensation. He lost his job, everything. You're paying for it, not the police. The police don't have a fund. They are not insured personally. They are insured as a business, as a force. Police Scotland are the most corrupt force in the United Kingdom. This clearly says that. Clearly says it. Look at him. You can see in his face what he's done to him. Gone to the, gone to his house with an arrest warrant for a different. I mean, oh my God. 
just pause it when you're reading because I scroll through sometimes. It's too quick. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you feel about this. Let me know what you think compensation should be. Let me know, do you think the police should be directly responsible for compensation? That the, the force should be directly responsible for compensation, not the people who pay into the taxes for the country? Let me know about that. What do you think about that? Because this is my life now. This is what I'm doing for the rest of my life. I'm not doing anything else. I'll still go on with my psychology in that, but this is what I'm doing. This is what you do to people, police Scotland, police force of the United Kingdom. This is what you do to people when you unlawfully arrest them, when you damage them. Some are going to turn around and bite you. You're now getting bit. 